welcome back to my channel it is pluto of pluto's muse here this is going to be another timeless general collective reading for the collective whenever you see this like comment share and subscribe if you enjoy this reading turn on your notification bells check the description box down below to book a personal reading why do i feel like i keep seeing i keep saying reading 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 somebody yaddy somebody not somebody yaddy whoa come on now hold on hold on we need a second <laughs> we need a second body yaddy 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 somebody has body all right this could be you somebody else somebody could be an aquarius all right somebody likes megan the stallion and we approve okay i love megan the stallion too um but no i'm getting somebody in here is i don't know why was i stuttering <laughs> or slipping up why was i stuttering or slipping up i don't know um somebody could be nervous i don't know but somebody's name could start with an n as well because i just started focusing on namaste on here as somebody's name yeah i don't know what your name could be neil nile um noel um nathan naomi natalie nick what other end names? Natasha, Nadine, Nadia. What's another one? <laughs> I'm still going. Nicole. This could be a first, middle, or last initial if somebody has this. Um, but yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below to book a personal reading. Book a personal reading with me if you need further guidance. That's all I had to say. All right. Let's get a fortune cookie. You know I love my fortune cookie jar. Um, this is a new one. <laughs> this is my new fortune cookie jar. It's actually a candle holder. This had a candle in it before, but I cleared it out. I love these candles. I usually get these from Walgreens, um, <laughs> but I don't get them as, as often anymore. This isn't even my favorite scent, but it's a really cute jar, so I like the jar. Um, why am I saying this? I don't know. Is somebody like, <laughs> somebody talks a lot. I don't think it's a negative thing. I feel like somebody just wants to talk. Maybe somebody wants to talk to you. I don't know. Okay, let's get a fortune cookie. Should we? Shall we? <laughs> Should we? Shall we? I don't know. All right, let's see. Messages for... The collective, what is your fortune cookie? I had another jar previously that was also a candle, but um, I moved that into the foyer. <laughs> the foyer, I had to put it on the side table. Somebody in here is fancy, okay? I could have just said the walkway, but I felt the need to say foyer. All right, is foyer a French word? Okay, bon nuit. Somebody saying good night? Okay. <laughs> 9.33 is on the time. How many do I want, Spirit? We're taking them. Two. All we needed was two. I have some charms in here as well, but we're not going to get into the charms. Maybe another day. Okay. The cards, not the cards. The papers you have, it says... You have every reason to be confident. <laughs> Come on now. And that's what I'm saying. Not some of y'all being like Megan the Stallion and not being confident. She embodies confidence, right? That That is a woman that exudes confidence. Somebody in here needs to be confident. Even if you don't give that vibe, I'm giving like you need to embody that energy. <clears throat> All right. Um, for others of you, somebody in here is stuttering. And it's nothing wrong with stuttering. Um, I've met a lot of people throughout my life that actually had some sort of speech impediment. And first off, sometimes it's super cute. <laughs> sometimes it's super cute. I used to have a boss that studied too, and I loved him. Um, but he was like an older guy too. And I was like, I'm not even gonna talk about it because hopefully he doesn't know that I have the channel, but I loved him. He was really, he was a really nice guy, but he had, he told me and it was funny. Actually, let me talk about this. He was actually an older guy and he was telling me about how he used to stutter um, and how he had to overcome it. I'm actually like kind of sad because I really liked him as a boss. He had to overcome it in his youth because he used to be like clowned about it. And he said he got over it and he said something like he used to study or he used to like uh, 
read certain books or something like that over and over again to get over his speech impediment. Like, I don't think he actually formally had any type of um, training or anything like that to remove the speech impediment. Like, he trained himself to work on his speech. He also really loved uh, <laughs> Whitney Houston. He was a white man, too. He really loved Whitney Houston. I mean, listen, who don't love Whitney? He really loved Whitney Houston, though. He was a Capricorn. And why is this relevant? Oh, my goodness. He was a Capricorn. And and Whitney Houston was a Leo. So I was always like, why is that? <laughs> like, I was like, why do you love uh, why do you love Whitney Houston? But honestly, same, right? I feel like anybody would love Whitney Houston. People love Leos. Okay, this may be relevant. Leo and Capricorn could be relevant. Um, that just came up in that last reading, too. So I don't know what that's about. Somebody could have those placements. But it says you have every reason to be confident. Maybe you have Leo and Capricorn placements in your chart and you should be very confident. Okay. He was confident, though. I really liked him as a manager. And people loved to clown him. They thought he was they thought he was not supposed to be confident, but he was so cool. I was like, he's cooler than you. <laughs> he was so much cooler. He was so much cooler than everybody in there. I'm like, bro, don't stress out. Like, you're cooler than these people. Like, you're you're the vibe. He was the party. People hated him. He was so upbeat. And I loved him. I really did. Yeah. So you have every reason to be confident. Somebody needs to know that. I'm cracking up. You also have you will step on the soil of many countries. And this is why you should be confident because some of y'all are about to be world touring. Okay. Some of you could literally be musicians. You could be a female rapper. You could be a singer. Okay. Somebody got pipes like Whitney Houston. Okay. I'm liking this vibe. Who am I reading for? Who am I reading for? We like this vibe. Some of you have hidden talents. Okay. I'm getting this. Somebody in here has a hidden talent. <laughs> I always say that I have hidden talents too. I really do. But some of you guys have hidden talents as well. And it might not even be that it's hidden. It's just like you're not expanding on it how you should. You should. You really should. All right. You really should be confident regardless of what it is that's holding you back. Maybe you don't feel like you looked the part. Maybe you feel like you don't have the money. Maybe you feel like you don't have the confidence. You need to work on these things. Confidence can be built. Okay, work on your confidence. Somebody in this reading. Yes, because look at you. Because you're supposed to be pouring into other people. 14. Somebody could be born on the 14th. Somebody could be born in May. You could be a Taurus or a Gemini. It says thorns weave together the crown you deserve. Yes. And this card has to do with you uplifting yourself to uplift other people. That was in the last reading. Some of you, this is a consistent theme. Somebody in here really needs to focus on uplifting themselves so that they can uplift other people. Some of you could have a daughter or you will have a daughter. Or it's something about you and your mom, you and a sister. Some of you have women around you that uplift you. Even if you're a man, I'm getting some of you have definitely have women around you that uplift you or they will. Roses may be significant. All right, you may love roses. Bottom of the deck. I'm also hearing that song, Can I Call You Rose? By the sacred souls. Also something here about hanging roses, dried flowers. Some of you are into herbalism. Lighthouse. Don't doubt your worth. That's what I'm saying. Somebody could be 20 or born on the 2nd or born in February. Pisces or Aquarius. Some of you need to know that your purpose goes beyond your fears. Somebody is really afraid of stepping out there and doing what they want to do or being themselves or speaking on what they want to speak on or whatever it is. And you need to overcome that again, not to make Megan the Stallion the focus. Shout out to Meg, though. <laughs> Shout out to Megan. We love Megan the Stallion. Um, I really do. I love Megan the Stallion. She's a great role model. Some people might not feel that way, but I, I do really feel like she is. Um, 
I mean, it could be controversial to some people, especially men. Men are like, no, she ain't. She really is, though. When you think about it, she's somebody that empowers women. Um, and I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm, I am not. I'm not the tallest of women, but, you know, I'm not 5'4 or anything like that. I'm like 5'7, five, 5'7 seven, five, seven and a half, maybe. Not really 5'8. Could be close to it, but I'm, I'm you know not a smaller woman so when I see tall women I'm like yes Amazon woman <laughs> I feel like somebody in here is a, a model somebody in here is a model or model-esque all right put put a heel on and you're definitely you're up there all right somebody and you don't have to even be tall to be a model some of you guys are smaller models and that's great too but I'm getting like you know have confidence in yourself some of y'all could be thicker some of y'all smaller some of you have curly hair. Some of you have straight hair. Some of you are of a certain type of nationality or ethnicity that other people may not always deem as the most attractive. Luckily, in these day and ages, um, people of different cultures and things like that are appreciated more. But even with this woman, look at her in this room. This Asian woman. This is an Asian woman or a Latino woman. I don't know. She definitely looks Asian <laughs> in this room with this redheaded lady and his, her redheaded daughter. They could all be related as well. Some of you stand out like amongst your siblings. You could be somebody that like looks different from all your other siblings or you and your siblings look different and you like stand out. Maybe you don't feel comfortable with how you look. All right. There's something here like that. But I'm getting like you're very beautiful man or woman. And if it isn't siblings, it's like your friend group. Some of you look very different from your friend group. You are good enough. Yes, and you should know that you're good enough. You could be a Virgo moon. You could be a Virgo. Get a Virgo in your chart. All right. Some of you need to know that you are good enough. Some of you have issues with your self-worth. This is very sad. It's unfortunate. Can I get another card, Spirit? Yes. You could be feeling emotional about this right now. What's the bottom of the deck? Believe in the impossible. Some of you are really questioning your worth, but I feel like you need to know that you are amazing. You're about to be touching on the soils of many lands. <laughs> you are supposed to be seen. You're going to step out there. You're going to do whatever it is you want to do, and you are going to be valued for that. You could be a model, you could be a florist, you could be an artist, you could be a musician, you could be a chef, you could be a singer, you could be an actor, a writer, all right, politician, anything like that. I'm getting some of you guys are doing something that um, is out of your comfort zone, but is making others comfortable, okay? That's what I'm getting. Messages for the collective. Again, man or woman, doesn't matter who's watching. Messages for the collective in this reading. We'll take it. Yes, look, something's coming to a close. Conclusion. Somebody could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn or you're born on the 12th. You could also be a Pisces or an Aries. Something is coming to a close in your life. And maybe you're feeling emotional right now. This could be a job that's coming to a close, an idea, like a mindset that you've had. Not an idea, but a certain ideal you had could be ending um, a perspective on yourself, a perspective on your success. All right. How you view success could be changing right now. And I feel like this is ooh, these cards want to come up in reverse. And I feel like you're being pushed in a new direction. Fire guardian, ignite your passions, see or see beyond your current situation. Some of you are intuitives or you may need to get a reading of some sort to figure out what you should do next. All right, if you're feeling encouraged to go a different path, maybe you need some sort of insight. Sorry for all the extra noises. I'm also getting to something here about um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Also, Seer gives me high priestess vibes, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be these signs. Somebody that you're dealing with are these signs. All right, some of you are definitely feeling encouraged to get into tarot as well or some sort of psychic work. Maybe you are an intuitive. Bottom of the deck, you have... 
heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. I feel like you have a skill that a lot of people would love if you chose to put yourself out there. Even if you're a masculine. Some of you are athletes. You don't have to be. I'm getting fashion designers as well. All right. Musicians, artists, animators. Some of you are meant to be pursuing a certain passion. Okay. And it's going to require you to end an old cycle to do this. One more card. Just one card from the guides. One card from the guides. Look, mountain stand your ground. I don't even want to take this again because it was already in there. Some of y'all need to stand your ground on something, though. Traveler, move in a new direction. Yeah, you're definitely meant to move in a new direction or do something new. All right. Some of you could even be in, being pulled to like go towards the mountains to live uh, in nature. I don't know if some of you know about astro cartography, um, but it's when you look at your birth chart and kind of map out where it is in the world that you're meant to be or um, what's most beneficial for you to go, like where you should travel or something like that. I'm getting that that may be important for some of you. I actually don't want to use. Do I want to use this one? Mm, we're going to use a soul's journey message instead. I don't want to use that ancestor message. <sighs> What's the soul's journey message for this reading? Denial. Mm. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Some of you are in denial of your greatness. Some of you are also in denial of what it is that you're supposed to be doing right now. Again, I keep getting that somebody's not listening to their intuition. Some of you are not listening to your intuition in regards to someone that you love or what you love, or I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Yeah. Maybe some of you guys are feeling bad about what you love or who you love or what you want to do in your life. All right. That could be something. I don't know. Let me get a butterfly oracle. What's the Butterfly Oracle for the collective in this reading spirit? Butterfly Oracle. Messages for the collective. This reading. Healthcare change. Some of you want to be healthier. Some of you are trying to improve your mental health. You haven't been prioritizing your mental health and now you want to. Uh-huh. Look. By joining in, by aligning with more people that understand you, that support you. Maybe you've been isolating. You could be in a hermit mode with that, uh, what do you call it, with the Virgo energy. Some of you guys have been in hermit mode. Regardless of what your sign is, I'm getting somebody could be isolating themselves. All right. Relatable. For sure. Now, it doesn't mean that you're sad or anything. Some of you could have been sad, but I'm getting especially with emotions are running high, but I'm getting for some of you, it's not that you're sad or anything. I'm getting like you were confused about where you wanted to go, about what you wanted to do heavy on the earth. You could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you have these placements. 24 is here. Somebody could be 24 or somebody is born on the 24th or somebody is born in June. Could be a Cancer or a Gemini. I'm also getting empowerment. Somebody could be born in uh, August could be a Leo or a Virgo. I'm also getting born on the 26th or you could be 26 years old. Somebody could also have the, <laughs> wow, in every deck. And this is, this is how, you know, I've never noticed on this card in particular, I always notice that there's like this typo here on this, uh, E, this E is actually an F upside down, right? On earth. I never looked at any of the other cards. Cause look at this one. Merkaba, that's a regular E. Since when was empowerment the F2? Somebody has an F in the name? <laughs> what in the world? Earth and empowerment. Some of you need to go outside. You'd feel more empowered if you were outside in nature or if you spent more time outside. That's what I'm getting. Some of you could be in a, into herbalism, all right? Or you need to get into flowers or something like that. Yeah, to expand your consciousness. There's a need for you to connect more with nature spirits even, 
All right, because some of you guys are having a hard time with believing in yourself or your faith. 11, so Scorpio and Sagittarius, also 17. Somebody could be born on the 11th. Somebody could be born on the 17th. Somebody could also be born in August. So Leo and um, Virgo. For some reason, I just got pulled to get a spirit animal. Okay, I know I brought that up in that last reading too about spirit animals. Somebody is seeing specific animals. Let's see what your animal is. Or what animal energy should you embody right now? What animal are you showing up as? What animal is this collective showing up as? Spirit. The collective in this reading. What energy are they in? What energy is this collective in in this reading as a spirit animal? If they were one spirit animal right now. The earthworm. <laughs> Some of you guys definitely are earth signs. Some of you could be in the LGBTQ as well. Look at that. But it's hiding. It's on the inside. Look, with the crocodile. Oh, yeah. For some of you, this is about your sexuality. For others of you, this is about you hiding how bright you are, how colorful you are. You're not talking about your feelings. You're not talking about your gifts. You're not sharing your talents. You have many talents. All right. Somebody could have Crocs, like literal Crocs, or want to buy Crocs or something like this. Something about somebody's ear is significant. I don't know what this is about. I don't know why they're showing me this. Yeah. I'm getting these things are sticking out to me. So some of you guys are showing up as an earthworm. You're hiding in the ground. You only come out when it rains. All right. You are beneficial to the ecosystem but you're not a standout figure in the ecosystem. Maybe you don't like being in the spotlight, something like that. How should they show up? How should they be showing up? The mouse. Hmm. Heavy on the Virgo vibes. Why should they be showing up as the mouse? Mice are hardworking. Because the peacock in reverse. Maybe some of y'all don't want to be seen. Remember I brought up peacocks in that last reading. Somebody is wearing a mask. Some of you want to be the mouse. Why? Why? <laughs> no offense to mice mice are important mice are important but why be the mouse small but mighty maybe some of you guys are small but mighty maybe you like being behind the scenes some of you don't mind being supporting figures you'd rather show support than be in the front Maybe there's somebody in your energy that wants to be in the front and you want to support them. Or maybe there's somebody in your energy that is in the front and you are their support system. Something like that. Why is this important though? Let me see. Why is this energy important though? I feel like some of you are hiding how great you are. Like you're actually really great or really talented. All right. You could be a fire sign or a water sign. You don't have to be as well. I just saw the uh, Queen of Cups and the uh, Five of Wands. Maybe people are mad at you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Why are the mouse and the peacock in reverse? Why would they show up this way? Some of you don't want to be seen. Why would you show up that way? Because of the Eight of Cups. With the Nine of Pentacles. Mm, what does that mean? Some of you want to be your own person. You want to do your own thing. Maybe some of you have been in the spotlight and now you want to be behind the scenes. Or some of you have been a part of a larger group, but now you want to pull away. Okay? You want to do your own thing. But I feel like for some of you, there's an energy here where I feel like some of this is like, again, similar to that last reading. Some of you are helping hands for a lot of people or your perception on helping others needs to change. Or maybe even when it comes to showing up in the world needs to change. Maybe some of you view popularity or being seen as a negative thing. All right. Or maybe you're afraid of being seen as like I don't know being full of yourself or something like that maybe some of you guys are concerned about being seen as being full of yourself or you just don't feel like you're good enough some of you don't feel like you're good enough yeah I 
I don't know why. Why is conclusion there? Why is conclusion here? Why is conclusion here? Something is coming to an end when it comes to some sort of communication or somebody's communicating something and that's going to cause an ending. All right. Could be ending something with a fire sign in Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. All right. Or you're the person that's ending something with this person. Could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all are having some sort of ending with someone you had conflict with. Or some of you are ending something with someone you've been competing with. I don't know. Or this is a boss or something. Why is this energy relevant? What's this about? Some of you are physically moving away from this person. This wanted to flip in the deck. Ten of swords in reverse. I feel like you're getting over the ending of something. Like you're ending something with someone. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be a boss. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be you. Some of you are stepping out of an energy of feeling betrayed or backstabbed or um, just overthinking something. You're changing your perspective on something and going towards something new. Or again, maybe you really fought to be seen as successful in the past. You put a lot of energy into being seen, being celebrated, being the center of attention. And now you kind of want to focus on yourself or there's something here about people. I don't know if this is your energy or there's something here about you like moving from one thing to the next, moving from one person to the next. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this energy is playing out, but let's see. We're going to pull this back up. There's some sort of ending that you're going through. All right. Again, this could be you that's going through this ending or you were going through the ending with that person. Let's see what this is saying in this reading. What's the overall energy of this reading, Spirit, for the collective in this reading? What's the overall energy in this reading for the collective in this reading? What's the healthcare change? Before I get into it, hold on now. What's the healthcare change? Some of y'all are definitely ending something. I feel like you're also moving out of a space of feeling betrayed by people. Like you're not focused on the hurt anymore. But some of you are definitely ending things with people. Why the Ten of Swords? Yeah. Look. Because of something that you see. Some of you are really ending something with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Aries, Leo, Sag. Or this is you. But for some of you, I'm getting you're ending something with someone. Because of something that you see, because of something that you hear. All right, because of something that you learn about yourself or about this person. I don't know. What's the overall energy of this reading, Spirit? You have the Ten of Pentacles. This could be about a family member or someone you've had a long-standing commitment with. Somebody you view as family, all right? Or you are building a family of your own. Yeah. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, or sorry, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are trying to build a family or a legacy for yourself. But before you do, you got to create peace of your own. All right, I'm hearing losing people, finding. That's by Summer Walker. Find a peace. Some of y'all are losing people, find a peace. Could be an Aries or you're dealing with an Aries. Why is this relevant? Oof. Because of the devil. Some of y'all blocking out something toxic. Somebody toxic, something toxic. All right. Toxic work environment, toxic family dynamic, toxic relationship. Some of y'all are ending something that is toxic. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because you're ready to move forward. This could also be, again, a career path. Some of you have either changed your perspective on what it is that you've been aiming for. Maybe you've been fighting for fame or something like that. Or some of you are wanting to be in the spotlight. I am trying to figure out what this energy is. I feel like you go back and forth, whoever I'm talking to. Because some of you naturally are inclined to shine. Like you are a very bright person. You have a really bright light. But maybe before you felt like you could only 
have it be seen a certain type of way. And now your view on how you use your, um, what do you call it? Your platform has changed. All right. Yeah, look at you. Some of you could be Scorpios. All right. Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You don't have to be. You're dealing with one. There's something that you're, you're blocking out that you view as toxic. What's the energy of the collective in this reading? I'm getting like somebody's manipulating something or... Okay, somebody could feel manipulated by money or manipul manipulated by a family dynamic or manipulated by a job situation. It's like the idea of what you wanted before is no longer fulfilling. I feel like somebody's listening to their higher self, their higher consciousness, what they feel pulled to do. What's the energy of the collective in this reading? What's the energy of the collective in this reading? Ooh, too many cards. The Empress. Some of you are divine feminines. You're dealing with a divine feminine. Could be Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you are so, 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 so focused on loving yourself. For some reason, I feel like you're so focused on loving yourself that it's aligning you with love. But you're indecisive? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Or you're trying to find a balance, maybe between loving yourself and loving others. Some of you want to love people, all right? And I'm not getting it's just romantic. I feel like some of you want to be loving towards other people. Um, some of you do want to date. Maybe you're separating from someone or something that has held you back from dating or held you back from meeting people. I feel like you're about to meet new people because you're releasing yourself from a fear or a previous dynamic. Um, for others of you, though, I'm getting like some of you are ready to meet people. Why is this coming up with this lover's card? Mm. But again, there's something that needs to be healed within you, though. Okay, there could be a need for you to change your perspective on something, either on someone or something about yourself or about a person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries, um... Scorpio, Virgo. There's definitely this vibe here of like somebody leaving something out in order for them to go towards their wish fulfillment. Some of you play uh, chess. You're into chess. Okay. Some of you are very intelligent. Not because you play chess, but I'm getting like somebody is just very smart. Somebody in here is really smart. Okay. Book smart and street smart or like emotionally intelligent. Somebody's just very intelligent. I'm also getting somebody could be very graceful. You could dance. You don't have to. There's something here about somebody being patient, like waiting for the love that they deserve, waiting for the job that they deserve, waiting for the people, especially with this. Somebody is changing their perspective on something. Maybe somebody didn't believe that they were going to have what they wanted in the past or that they would align with the person that they wanted to in the past. And I feel like this is changing. What's the external energy of the collective? the moon card pisces moon heavy something about the moon is significant pisces cancer scorpio this is coming up in reverse uh oh my battery's dying gotta hurry up ten of cups in reverse hmm this could be about again a connection that was already here before that somebody's wanting to revisit or there's something here about a family. Some of you have family members that are watching you pull away from them to focus on yourself. And this is heartbreaking. They are heartbroken. 
All right. These people are seeing you heal and focus on your money or focus on your goals or whatever it is. And they can't believe that you're choosing to focus on yourself. All right. Sorry, y'all. I dropped some cards. They can see that you need the time apart. They can see that you need the time to yourself. They can see that you're pulling away. All right. They can tell that you're not as happy. This could be a job situation as well. Somebody could be afraid of you leaving. Hmm. Why is this relevant? Why is this relevant? Two of Cups. Because some of y'all are about to be in a relationship. Or you're about to align with someone. Yes. You're either stuck in your head about this or somebody's stuck in their head about a relationship that you're in, that you're moving into. Yes, and they're trying to come back around. That's what came up. Some of y'all, somebody is stuck in their head about something you're moving towards and they're trying to come back in. All right, this could be an ex of yours that feels rejected. Somebody feels like they're getting karma. Or this is you. You don't have to be in this energy, but for some of you, this is like what's going on. I feel like even if you are the air sign, some of you guys may have somebody that's coming in. You could have set boundaries with someone from the past or a family member from the past, somebody. And now this person feels like you ignoring them and rejecting them is some form of karma. Maybe they know you're going to have some sort of big destiny and they're afraid of this. The challenge here is the page of pentacles. Something about your inner child is a challenge here. Why is this here? I feel like some of you are like trauma bonded to whatever dynamic this is. Or there's something here about like how your family has responded to you doing your own thing in the past that is triggering you, that's confusing you about what you want to do. You've learned something about the past. Or some of you want to use the past as like motivation. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to do a, uh, you know, a podcast. You want to talk about an old relationship. You want to talk about your family dynamic. You want to write this thing. Like there's something here that you want to do that may be like stressing out other people. Or there's a relationship that you want to start. A friendship that you want to start. Something that you want to do that other people may not agree with. But it's what you want to do. Why would this be a challenge? Why would this be a challenge, Spirit, for my collective? King of Swords and the Chariot. Because I feel like this person is like, hey, hold on. <laughs> They're like, where are you going? If you go somewhere, somebody wants to follow. That makes me think about Gilmore Girls. Somebody could have like a really tight, tight knit bond with a mother figure. Okay, some of you have a mom that had you very young as well. What's the advice here? Some of you want to write a show like Gilmore Girls or I don't know. <laughs> what's, what's the advice here, Spirit? I feel like if you're deciding that you want to move forward, maybe you want to physically move or you want to end out some sort of cycle, you want to go towards something new, you're doing the right thing. You've been slowly moving away, but I feel like you're still moving nonetheless. There's a shift that you're making. Some of you want to start some sort of project online. You're slowly doing this. You should continue doing that. Yes. Yes. Look at y'all. Some of you have changed your perspective on change and you're okay with the changes that are taking place. You're okay with the endings that are taking place. You're okay with being on your own. Any more advice? You're okay with going through a rebirth. Some of you could be gymnasts or flexible. Could be into yoga. Maybe you want to be a yoga instructor. Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all letting that tower fall, okay? You're having a tower moment. This is divinely guided. You've manifested this. Virgo, Aries, Gemini, Scorpio. Are you dealing with these signs? Have those placements in your chart? I feel like you're letting something change, shift, fall. And 
what is this about? What do they need to know about this tower? You've had an epiphany. Some of you have had an epiphany that you can manifest whatever you want. Maybe you didn't realize this before. Yeah. I feel like some of you are realizing that you've been stuck in your own head. You've been getting in your own way. You're ending out a cycle where you were afraid to be yourself or do what you want to do. Or go towards what you want to go towards. You're being confident and going towards it. Aries, Leo, Sag, Leo, Heavy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Look at these roses. Somebody's about to bring you roses. Or you're about to bring somebody roses. Somebody like likes the crystal carnelian as well. Some of y'all are dating outside your race or your culture. <laughs> or some of you are just doing something that's different. And I feel like you're ignoring the grief and the sadness from your past to do this. You're not dwelling on the past anymore. You're choosing what makes you happy. This is positive. Let's get one of these oracles. I hope my battery doesn't get weird. Can we get a message for the collective in this reading spirit? Mm. Inanna, believe in yourself. Bottom of the deck says, oops, sorry. It says Asclepios Sacred Medicine. Asclepios? I don't know. Look into them. <laughs> Inanna, let's see. Some of you look like this woman or you're dealing with a woman that looks like this woman or you're just embodying this energy. Um, it says Inanna, believe in yourself. Somebody could also be born in 87, 88, or 89. Trust in your dreams and abilities. Let self-doubt fall away. Inanna was worshipped by the ancient Sumerians for over 3,000 years. Her journey of death and rebirth is the oldest of its kind, preceding Persephone and Jesus by millennia. Earth Mother Inanna ventured through the seven gates of the underworld, removing one of her garments at each gate. Some believe that these gates represent purification of her seven chakras. Excuse me. When Inanna meets her angry sister, Ereshkigal, <laughs> it sparks her unconscious memory and she remembers her once forgotten sacred dreams. Inanna is killed by her sister, a symbolic release of all Inanna's self-limiting beliefs. After three days, she returns to life as the queen of heaven. Anana's eight-pointed star is linked to the planet Venus. All right, some of you guys have a major Venus placement. Whether you're a man or a woman, you could have seventh house placements, major seventh house placements, or a major second house placements, or a major Taurus placement, or a major Libra placement. Somewhere may be relevant for you. Um... I'm also getting too for some of you, like I said, this could be about a family dynamic. Some of you, and it could even be a friend. It doesn't have to be a literal family member. It could be a friend, but some of you guys have like a sister or a brother or somebody in your energy that has hindered you from doing what you want to do or being who you want to be or going towards who you want to go towards. Some of y'all want to go towards somebody you love and maybe this person doesn't want you to go towards this person, but I feel like you're going to do it. Um, others of you, this isn't your case. This could be like, you know, again, it could just be that you have had people in your life that have tried to hinder you from doing what you want to do, told you you couldn't do it, told you you shouldn't do it, told you you should be afraid of doing these things, and still you choose to do it, and still you choose to thrive, and I see there being success in that. It says, when did you last allow yourself to dream? Are there precious hopes buried deep inside your soul? Does your inner critical voice crush the tender shoots of your yearnings before they even have a chance to grow? Inanna is taking you on a healing journey into the great below of your ignored and denied dreams. There are many riches gleaming within you, Inanna whispers with a knowing smile. Journey with me into the underworld of your self-doubt. Let go of every belief that says you're unworthy or incapable. 
Suppressing your creative desires can manifest as a chronic malaise, a gray cloud over your head that just won't shift. This is because your longing, I'm sorry, the longing to share your light is a part of your sacred contract to the goddess. There's something you're passionately w wanting now, excuse me, but you've been keeping this desire pushed way down. Don't do this anymore. Believe in your ability to build this beautiful sacred creation. I am queen of both heaven and earth, and I will help you bring your dreams into reality. The additional meanings of this card says using healing affirmations to reprogram negative or self-critical thoughts. again. So this is the next day. Um, this is the next day the video actually got cut off because the battery did die. Um, so let me finish what I was saying on the card. I said, it also says use healing affirmations to reprogram negative or self-critical thoughts. All right. So some of you guys definitely need to work on positive affirmations. I am statements, things like that. It says take daily action steps in the direction of your dreams. So again, whatever it is that you want to pursue, whatever it is that you feel like you need to change, go after that, go for that. It's 155 on the time. Um, I'm also seeing shamanic journeying will benefit you. So some of you guys you may want to listen to a shamanic drum and do meditations, daily meditation. Some of you are absolutely shamans. You may have some sort of shamanic roots. You're a healer. All right. You may come from a tribe where shamans exist and things like that. So you may even want to do some research on that. Maybe read some books about it. Um, I'll put a frequency down below that you can listen to to meditate too. And you also have used grounding techniques such as conscious breathing and root chakra meditation. Yeah. So again, the I am statements. Some of you guys really need to ground yourself right now. Maybe you've been, uh, you know, really stuck in your head in the past, really caught up on, on the what ifs, what could go wrong, what would go right. Um, and your guides are saying it's better to take action or make a plan on what you want to do rather than thinking about the what ifs rather than contemplating it so much. Okay. Um, I also decided that I wanted to read this card. I know I said look into him when I like was in the video, but I'm actually going to um, read this because I feel like it's important. The invocation of that card, by the way, for Anana was um, I can do it. I'm worthy of creating my dreams. All right. Now with Asclep Asclepios, Asclepios. I might be saying it wrong, but this might be what it says. It says Asclep. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Asclepios. Asclepios, yes. It says Asclepios, sacred medicine. Support your support for your health is coming. Be a medical innovator. All right. Asclepios, pronounced Asclepios, <laughs> was the greatest healer of the ancient world. As a baby, he glowed with a halo of golden light. By the age of six, Asclepios could name every medicinal plant and understood basic and anatomy and that crazy i brought up flowers i feel like somebody in here is an herbalist or you're supposed to be doing something related to medicine maybe holistic medicine um it says mentored by chiron the centaur look into your chiron and your birth chart if you haven't already i believe i have videos um in my like you know uh catalog or playlist or whatever it is of things related to chiron when chiron was in retrograde i did a bunch of um content on that so that may be relevant to someone in here but it says mentored by Chiron, the centaur. Centaurs are also the half man, half horse, um, Sagittarius vibe. So you could be a Sag that I'm talking to. Let me keep going. Why do I stop this so much? It says mentored by Chiron, the centaur. He matured into a consummate physician, surgeon, and pioneer of scientific medicine. His vast sanctuary at Epidaurus, like, I don't know, epidural. Somebody could be pregnant. You're going to get pregnant. I don't know. Epidaurus compromised or comprised, I'm sorry, a sports stadium. Mm, somebody could be in sports medicine, theater, baths, a dream temple, and a hospital. Asclepios believed that the injured and infirm needed medical treatments in combination with exercise, music, dance, and story. His priests would record patient, patients' dreams and use the information to prescribe a cure. Wow, this is very interesting. The serpent entwined rod of Asclepios, Asclep, Asclepios, I'm sorry, is a symbol of numerous medical institutions today. Yes. Isn't it called like the catechus, the, the image of like, and I believe it's on the two of cups, like the card, the two of cups. I don't have my deck around me. 
the snake that's around like the symbol when it comes to hospitals i know some of you have seen it this may be relevant or symbolic for some of you all right some of you could be in the hospital i hope you're not or some of you are dealing with something medical related and that may be significant or some of you are meant to be in the medical field all right you go beyond just holistic healing some of you are going to use both your medical knowledge like professional medical knowledge and holistic healing to create something others of you are meant to do something in the medical field you're just a healer of some sort it says the greek god of medicine rejuvenation and healing comes into your life today to offer a dose of positive energy for your well-being if you're dealing with an illness injury or ailment asclepios understands your struggles and suffering he knows the anxiety depression and frustration that can accompany long and short-term health problems asclepios leads you into his sun-filled sanctuary garden full of medicinal plants somebody in here <laughs> medicinal plants somebody in here is working with medicinal plants um take it how it resonates i'm here to take care of you he says trust that you're in good hands you're safe in your body i watch over the medical profession and can guide you to the right doctors and treatments. For some reason, I was getting, I watch over the right medical professional. So some of you guys, maybe you're worried about your doctor or worried about whether the people who are assisting you in some sort of medical field are actually good people. I feel like you have guides around you who are watching out for you or looking out for you. So this is something that you need to know. Or if you're going to have surgery or something, I feel like you got people on your side. So hopefully nothing's going on. I'm sorry if somebody is going through something. It says, invoke me before surgeries or consultations and I'll work my light through your practitioners. Okay. Healing from illness is never purely physical. There are always emotional, psychological, and spiritual elements. Asclepios was a master at blending scientific and holistic methods. That's what I'm getting for real. He's presently guiding medical professionals and researchers to combine traditional and complementary practices. Could you be a part of this new era of sacred medicine? Ooh, I think so. It says the additional meanings of this card. Your divine life purpose is in the medical profession. So somebody in here, you are meant to be a healer, whether that's a professional healer or a holistic healer. But for a lot of you, some of you have the makings of a professional healer, sports medicine, doctor, psychologist, therapist, whatever it is, you're meant to be in the medical field. And if you're already there, kudos to you. It's, it's your niche. This is your thing. You're in the right field. And some of you could even be combining what you know with people who are of um, holistic knowledge. So like maybe you're working with a shaman, okay or maybe you are a shaman that's getting into a medical field i don't know some of y'all are advanced it says <laughs> work with integrative medicine conventional treatments combined with complementary complementary therapies for yourself or as a practitioner all right so some of you if you are some sort of shaman or holistic healer you're also being told to learn or study more about traditional medicine um and for those of you that are in traditional medicine you may be being taught or told to learn more about um, holistic healing and it also says illness is sometimes a sign of a life that needs rerouting hmm be honest with yourself about what you'd like to change so if some of you have been feeling ill or feeling bad or feeling sick or worried about your health or not completely sure about what's going on you know a lot of times there's many different ailments and illnesses that we contract um whether it's due to like literal things that we came into contact with um but sometimes it's like an energetic ailment like you're stressed out so now your back hurts or you're carrying stress in your shoulders you're you're dealing with certain things and now your stomach's messed up like i'm getting some of you are um some of you are trying to figure out why you're sick or why something's wrong. And even though, you know, checking out, you know, your health with a medical professional is always a good thing to do. Some of you, it may not even be related to something serious. It's almost like an energetic burden or an emotional burden, psychological sometimes. Some of y'all hypochondriac, especially Virgo. Virgo, <laughs> Virgo, you're hypochondriac most times, most times, but... That's not always a problem because at least you're going to get it checked out, right? Um, but some of you, there's an energy here of me, like I'm, I'm getting like everything is okay. Kind of like what I said in that last reading. Everything could be okay with you, but some of you, what's not okay is maybe your emotional state or your mental state or something like this. And that's what you need to work on. The invocation of this card says, I take responsibility for my health. I heal my mind, spirit, and body. Hmm. This is very interesting. Let's get a mantra before we go. And that's it. It's been a long day.
and it's only 2 p.m. <laughs> Messages for the collective in this reading. Some of you are seeing uh, threes, 333, three, three, 33, you could be 33. Somebody could be a master number 33. All right, ascended masters may be significant for you. I'm getting threes, seeing threes. What's the mantra? I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. Okay. I am love and miracles are natural. Yes. Bottom of the deck. Energy flows where my intention goes. Okay. Take that how it resonates for you all. That is all that I have, Collective. Thank you so much for tuning in, for supporting me, for showing me love. I appreciate you. Um, more content on the way. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, whenever you see this. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.